Claudia, thank you. Um, how are we going to, to continue right now? Um, we're continuing now with the Going Night Finals, which is kind of also staying with Deutsche Telekom, but it's actually way bigger because it's uh, an alliance of four huge telcos. Um, so as the next speakers and presenters on stage, I would like to call Augustine of Telefonica, Eric of Orange, Paul of Singtel, and Axel of Deutsche Telekom. Please come up on stage. Welcome. Hey. Hello. Hi. Hi. So maybe because I, I think most of the people in the audience don't know Go Ignite, you could tell us a bit about, um, on the one hand, the motivation of building this alliance, even though you might know or might stumble across the problem that having four huge corporates doing something together might not be the most or the fastest way to bring things on the street. Uh, on the other hand, it might give people the possibility to push their products or startups the possibility to push their products in the entire market. So maybe some, I don't know who wants to answer that, but maybe you could tell us a bit more about the motivation behind that, the pros and cons of that. Obviously, more uh, the pros. Otherwise, you wouldn't have done that. I think it, sometimes it's it's more difficult, not always, mm -hmm. but you can do four times more in terms of market. And the idea was to scale a local success, let's mm -hmm. say in Asia or in Europe, to go to Africa or to go to South America or US or whatever. So the the main advantage would be the global rollout, so that you can go into all markets at once. Yeah, we have four continents, and we have mm -hmm. all our our core, uh, let's say, footprints. Okay, and so how, how did you come up with or how would you describe this form of, I mean, in the end, it's a competition, right? You, you kind of, you, you, what's the mode you work together? So I guess, uh, yeah, telco industry and we four are facing similar problems. And uh, we all are open innovation believers. We know that we do not know how to solve problems within our own companies. Our internal R&D tools are not enough, and we really believe in talent and in entrepreneurial power. So we decided that the joining forces, we, we could add up to 1.2 billion clients, and we can bring that closer to, to entrepreneurs and to startups. And I think this is something super powerful that not uh, other players are able to offer. And it's true that it might uh, from outside be seeing as something that might be not moved very quickly mm -hmm. but yeah when you think about uh, 1.2 billion clients uh, all together at the reach of your hand uh, I think that's uh, something that that's really valuable that's an argument I'm convinced now um, so I would like now to to hand the stage over to you to do the awards thank you so great to be here at long light of the startups and uh, yeah, um, my name is Axel. Um, I'm heading Hubraum, the corporate incubator of Deutsche Telekom. And uh, together with my colleagues from uh, Telefonica, Orange, and uh, Singtel, we like to present a unique, um, uh, outstanding alliance of four leading global telco operators working with startups. Um, Hubraum. Um, Hubraum's purpose since five years is to make um, a startup successful, to create win-win situations between us and them. And uh, we've built operations in uh, Tel Aviv, in Krakow, and in Berlin. We had thousands of applications, more than 300 teams in uh, our programs, and invested in uh, about 25 companies. But today it's not about Hubraum, it's about us, um, as telco operators, and Go Ignite. Um, as uh, uh, already mentioned, um, addresses a billion, a billion customers in Asia, in Europe, and in South America. And that's a unique chance. And uh, this year we did another call, and we are looking for the best teams in the areas of connected home, secure IoT, and AI. And uh, we selected five companies, and three out of them uh, will be presented today on stage. So without further ado, 
I like to ask Eric to start with the first chosen winner. Yes, so we were very interested by a company who provides secure platform using cloud computing, cloud computing and AI to secure uh, homes and connected home platform. So I'm calling Kujo on stage. Thank you very much, everybody. This is a face for radio. It's not really a face for um, high definition TV. So I apologize on that front. OK, so we are Cujo. I am part of Cujo. Yes. The clicker works. Does it click? OK, it doesn't seem to work. So I'll talk through it. So uh, we live and breathe IoT security. Oh, there you go. That's it. We live and breathe IoT security. So we have two offerings. We have an ISP platform where we can embed our security platform into your home router. And we also have a hardware firewall, which you can buy from all good stores. We're 106 um, staff in total in headquartered out of LA. Um, we have offices in uh, London, across Europe, and in Brazil, which is a place I'd love to get a secondment to out in Rio. Cujo already blocks tens of thousands of IoT threats every day in the homes of our customers. And that is going up and up and up by the day, the week, the month. We all read and we see the breaches, hacking attempts, Mirai, Petya for ransomware. It's just getting more and more to the forefront. Um, we've already won, lucky enough to have won some awards with Vodafone, Nokia, and some other uh, companies. So what is Cujo? So here you see a kind of cute little hardware firewall which you can buy online or in stores. But what it is, in essence, it's a sophisticated smart firewall for your home to protect all your IoT devices. We use artificial intelligence, machine learning, behavioral analysis, which is really important, and cloud computing. So behavioral analysis. Let me give an example, and I'm not picking or endorsing products here, but your Nest thermostat, if anybody here has a Nest thermostat to turn their heating up and down, should only ever talk to the Nest cloud. You may be at work turning your heating up and down, but it's only ever talking to the Nest cloud. Now, if your thermostat starts talking to uh, IP address in the Azores or starts passing information to China, that's abnormal behavior. We don't shut down the thermostat, we shut down that abnormal behavior. So, there is no latency with Cujo. It's full privacy. We do not do deep packet inspection, which opens up your personal identifiable information. Um, and, and it's built for the home. So why do you need Cujo? Quick show of hands. Who has an Alexa or a home camera? Or there you go, or one person. That helps me out. Great. Thank you. For, thank you very much. He's not a stooge, by the way. OK. Well, the thing is, our homes are full of unprotected smart devices. All right? These devices enrich our lives. We can talk to the postman when he delivers a package. Mothers can see when their children have taken medication. We can unlock our doors. But the word they're smart, okay? The fact these devices are smart actually is their Achilles heel. God, I can't believe I'm going over time already. Okay, here is some of the other devices that are not uh, quite as uh, useful. This is the Smartress. This will tell you if your partner is cheating on you while you're out and about, and it will even tell you where on the mattress the uh, movement is happening. And everyone here probably has the smart egg meter that tells you when you're out of eggs. Okay, people say, well, I have antivirus. Antivirus is not enough. Antivirus is for your computer. It is not for all your IoT devices. However, you should always have antivirus protection. And let's forget, hacking is a business. People don't need to break into your home anymore to steal your data. Someone can sit at home, send a 1,000 malware emails out or phishing emails, and people are openly, accidentally given that information. People don't need to break in and risk leaving fingerprints anymore. They can just send out emails and steal your information. And you can see the cost of, I mean, if I stole um, 10 uh, bits of financial information and sold them, that's the cost of an iPad, but it was easy. Key features, once again, it's enterprise-level security for the home, we have parental controls. It covers all IoT devices, blazing fast. A nice app to let you know when there are threats, to let you block and unblock, connects to your router, and is also offered by your ISP and cable company. I'm Nathan. We're Cujo. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, and stay safe online. Thank you. Uh, I don't need that.
Um, good evening, Obin. Uh, my name is Paul Burmester, and I'm from Singtel Innovate. Uh, I guess all of you are familiar with Singapore, but maybe not Singtel, uh, which actually operates across 22 countries and has over 650 million customers, ranging from Australia through Asia and uh, into Africa. Uh, and we are a venture capital fund and also seek innovation for the group. We speak to over a thousand companies a year, but by joining forces with my colleagues here, um, then we can go even broader and start sourcing companies from Latin America, Africa, and Europe. Uh, we often see really cool companies, but then we introduce them into the business units in the hope of finding a problem to solve. And where this program differs is that we've actually identified the problems and we're sharing them with you and looking for solutions to very known problems. Um, one of the problems we asked about was the connected home. And this next winner, it's probably unfair to say connected home because they're much broader than that. Singapore is, is one of the world's foremost smart cities. And uh, it's very advanced at looking at what goes on outside of buildings, how traffic patterns move, how people move, really optimizing that. But nobody to date has really cracked in building. How do people move? How many people in a building? Are they sitting? Are they falling? What are their vital statistics? And this company can do that with one sensor. Um, so we'll share now with you a little video that explains our next winner, which is Viar. Hi, I'm Yael from Viar Imaging. Viar develops 3D imaging devices that create a 3D image of the world around you in real time, utilizing dozens of antennas on the one chip. We're setting up some demos, and we're ready to go. What you see here is location detection. Our device can even identify a person's body position or alert you if someone has fallen. It works in smoke, steam, or darkness. Unlike a camera, it doesn't take pictures and protects your privacy. It can differentiate between many people, even when close together. The device can pick up even minute changes, such as a person breathing, or two people breathing next to each other in different positions and send an alert if someone stops breathing. What you saw here today was one device that can replace the capabilities of numerous sensors. The same device can be applied for fall detection and elderly care, for smart home security and automation, for in-car monitoring and automotive, for retail applications, and many more things that we can't even imagine. So stay tuned. So, good evening to everyone. My name is Agustin Moro. I work for Telefonica, and specifically in Telefonica Open Future, which is the open innovation initiative of Telefonica Group. What we have there is uh, gathered together all the open innovation programs to support and detect best talent in our footprint. Telefonica is operating in 23 countries, mainly through Latin America and Europe, here in Germany through O2 brand. So, I think this is a good example of how we can cooperate and collaborate with competitors. And um, what we have is different acceleration programs and several VC investment funds uh, through which we can support talent and bring and detect the best products that can get into Telefonica business so we can offer the best uh, digital things to our clients. Um, we, we for telcos, uh, as we said, we add up to many clients and we face similar problems. One of them uh, is, for example, uh, exposure of children to the, to the internet and to social networks. And this is why we've selected uh, Safe2Net as one of the winners of this call. Safe2Net is a uh, cloud-based and artificial intelligence application 
that prevents cyberbullying, prevents extortion and other cyber attacks uh, to children. And they do this in a unique way, not any other player in the market that, that, that does this, because they take care of uh, instant messaging in real time and uh, yeah, messaging in social networks. So better than me, I think uh, Play the Net team can explain this to you. Hello everybody, my name is Richard. And I'm Sharon. And we are from Safe to Net, and we are on a social mission. We are absolutely passionate about safeguarding children from the perils of cyberspace. Now, this is something that you all know about. We're talking about cyberbullying, abuse, aggression, sextortion, grooming, and other predatory risks online. There are over 500 million children on social networks around the world. This is a global social problem. Existing parental control software is simply not good enough. It doesn't safeguard our children on social networks. So that is why we created SafetyNet. It's a unique e-safety system that detects and blocks cyberbullying, sexting, and abuse in all its forms in real time. No one else is doing this. So how does it work? Well, you download the app onto your child's device. It runs on iOS and Android, but also up in the cloud. This is a cognitive computing solution, one which interlinks natural language processing with big data analytics, and all within a machine learning environment. That allows us to contextualize the messages that children send and receive online. So we can, for example, tell the difference between banter and aggression. So there are four key features to our software. Firstly, and most crucially, SafetyNet blocks harmful incoming and outgoing messages before they're seen and before the damage is done. It also blocks suspicious users. There are 83 million, 83 million people on Facebook who are not who they say they are. Statistically, if there's 300 in this room, well, you can decide who, who you are and who you are not, but there's a lot of people who are not who they say they are on social networks. It's scary stuff. But also, we give parents the tools to remotely manage their children's devices. So no longer, if you're a parent, do you have that conflict where you have to grapple with your child to take the phone off them. Now it's really simple. All you do is you pour yourself a glass of wine, you press two buttons, and hey presto, you can lock your child's device. Oh hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen, the balance of world power is finally restored. So Safety Net does more than just block harmful content. It also advises and guides on cyber risk in real time. So Safety Net tells you as a parent, it tells you about apps that are risky. It tells you about your child's digital footprint. It tells you when you might want to block those apps. It might tell you when you want to block the device. It tells you a lot more too. SafeTonet's vision is to become the de facto standard in safeguarding worldwide within the next two years. We're a B2B to C and we're selling to the world's biggest mobile network operators. We have product trials in place or scheduled with eight of these operators, and they have a combined customer base of over 1.4 billion customers. SafeTonet offers them improved client retention, increased margins, and it underpins their social responsibility. We're so proud of the awards that we've won to date, and here they are but we are absolutely thrilled and delighted to be part of the Go Ignite program. So thank you so much. Thank you. So, <laughs> sorry, we haven't quite finished, but just quickly, we're on a world domination campaign here, ladies and gentlemen. Our mission is to safeguard millions and millions of children around the world. We've built a leadership team to help us do that. We'd love your support and help if you can give it to us. 
We'd love to do business in Germany. We'd love to safeguard German children. We'd love to trial our product with German schools or universities. So please come and say hello to us afterwards if you would like to get in contact with us. Someday, hopefully, we will all be safe to net. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you, thank you for attention. That was just the beginning. We will kick off the program next Monday in Madrid at the headquarters of Telefonica. And uh, stay tuned and see how the teams will develop. Thank you.